Alright guys, even here, in today's video I wanted to talk about Keon Pearson and whether or not he is natural. So I heard this rumor circling around, everybody's talking about this, and I wanted to do a little research because I saw this post today on Instagram, and basically it's Generation Iron posted this picture and the title says, Arnold Classic, is Keon Pearson the best all-natural classic physique competitor? As usual, Generation Iron is always you know, having these provocative uh, titles in order to trigger people so they get better comments, interaction and yeah, people usually buy it, people usually go for it and then, you know, the, the comments are usually hilarious, lots of likes in the comments and so on you know, that's what I want and that's what I get people are easily tricked, but so yeah, that, that was the title and uh, the first thing that I noticed, the first comment, of course I checked the comment and the first comment was from PJ Brown Fitness, and uh, if you see who this guy is, he's the president or the CEO and founder of Blackstone Labs, which is a pretty big company, so he's a pretty big name in this industry, and here was his comment. So he said this, none of us have any reason to lie, guys, lie to you guys, probably. We randomly tested his blood and urine because I did not believe in the beginning, too. I said, let's put your money where your mouth is, and took him with no time to prepare. Even if he had used in the past, I would have been able to see some signs of things in his blood work when you have been reading blood as long as I have. After that, he earned my trust and as our relationship grew, I found out more and more about him uh, and know that he is just a genetic freak. Anyone who doesn't believe he's gonna see when he gets on and gets massive, haha, <laughs> he will have to kiss this division goodbye and you'll see him too well and eventually in the open. That was his comment, and uh, is this true or not? Who knows? Uh, there was a couple of more uh, interesting comments also, so such as this one. He is the best natural bodybuilder along with Simeon Panda and Ulysses. <laughs> He'd be better if he wasn't full of S. I'm not saying that I agree with these comments or not, I'm just reading them <laughs> for your entertainment. So yeah, you can see all the other comments here. And this one is good, the first one, I, I like this comment. So, who gives a S? Dude looks phenomenal. Why bring it to whether is he natural or not? Especially this close to Arnold Classic. Natural or not, dude has put in work and achieved an amazing physique. So I think this is well said. And basically, if you want my opinion on whether or not he is natural, who can tell? Who can tell? Only he knows. Only he knows what he's doing every day, even unless you're living with him. And even if you were living with him, still you wouldn't be sure what he's doing when he goes to the bathroom. So nobody knows if he's using something or not. But if you look at his physique, what can you tell based on one, simply his looks? Well, this is definitely one impressive physique. A hell of a physique. And is this attainable naturally? That's... Hmm, you know, you'd never know. Even if nobody looked like this naturally before. Maybe he's the first guy with insane genetics. Is it likely that he's natural? It's not likely. This is, this is just too much. But uh, the thing is that I'm wondering, if you are a professional bodybuilder, and he is a professional classic physique competitor, so he's doing this for a living, and if he used something, he would be better, so he would earn more money. And it wouldn't hurt him that much. Obviously, he's going to take it eventually. Everybody takes it. So why wouldn't he do it? That's something that I'm always thinking about. If you can enhance yourself and earn more and be better in your beloved sport why wouldn't you do it so i'm sure he did it but on the other hand maybe he was so genetically superior that he always saw progress on his physique so he was always able to create progress and when you can see progress in your physique you don't need to take anything if you can make progress without anything why would you poison yourself if you don't have to so if that's the case if he really is what he say he is, if he really is natural, if he is a genetic freak, then sure, it's possible he never took a thing, but it's not very likely, in my opinion. And also, one more thing, like, where is the line? What does it mean, natural? Some people would say, you are natural if you don't use supplements. Some people would even say it's not natural to, to lift weights. <laughs> so, and now there is so many new things coming out every year, and uh, where do you draw the line? Where do you draw the line? You know, that's the question. So it doesn't really matter whether you are not or you are natural. The point is you have all the things that you have available. And all that matters is how good of a bodybuilder you are. 
and you can choose what you're gonna use. It's up to you. Nobody really cares because if you can, if you claim something, you better be able to prove it. If you can't prove it, then what's the point of saying it? A lot of people will hate you for that because it can be a lie and nobody wants it to be true. Because if it was true, a lot of people would be demotivated because they're training hard. A lot of them are using the stuff and they're not looking nearly as impressive as him. So it's kind of demotivating. And if you don't have the proof, which is impossible to have, it can create somewhat of a bad reputation about you. You can't have definitive proof. You can have somewhat of it. And then you can create some kind of public arguments about you, like this. And that's like publicity. There is not such a thing as bad publicity. You either have it or you don't have it. And then you can choose what you're going to do with it. So from that standpoint, that's a good advertising for him. But whether he is or he's not natural, who can tell? Nobody can know this. So that's my take on it, guys. If you agree with me, awesome. If you don't agree, tell me why don't you agree in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single day, sometimes even more than one. So that's it. Thank you very much, guys, for the following. And uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.